Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Let's Play of Space Quest Three: The Pirates of Pestulon. It has been an indeterminate amount of time since Roger Wilco rocketed away from Bohol's burning space fortress. Time stands still for our hero in suspended animation. Its engines long spent, the small escape pod drifts aimlessly through unfamiliar star fields. Its course altered many times by small asteroids and space debris. Inside, Roger lies undisturbed in his sleep chamber. But not for long. The pod considered to be nothing more than another piece of scrap is taken aboard a robot command garbage fighter. Freighter, unfortunately these robots have no regard for organics. The small pod is jarred by a sudden shock, which triggers the sleep chamber's revive mode. As the glass sh shroud slides back, Roger slowly begins to regain consciousness. Where am I? You notice that the sound f sounds from the pod grow softer until they are impen impen imperceptible. imperceptible. Having served its purpose and taxed its resources, the pod gives a final hum and shuts down. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Space Quest Three: Pirates of Pestilon. Um... As you can see, Wilco has finally exited his vehicle. We're going to turn the volume down a little bit so you can hear me talking. Um, this, I also want to uh, point out that, hey, yeah, there's music actually playing in the background of this while we are playing the game. I um, also have a cursor here, which is kind of useless to me, so I'm going to kind of put that on the side because I don't like the cursor. Um, so if any of you have played this game, 
this is a pretty big step from what we had at first uh, from AGI to now SCI interface. We now have the input uh, typing, you know, look. You are standing in a debris cluttered junk bay. An escape pod rests in the middle of the room. There are chunks of metal lying around which seem to be small sections of old spaceware. <gasps> Oop, I have the hiccups. Uh-oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now that I have the hiccups, we're going to continue on. Ah, uh, whoo. <coughs> Hold on. I need to... <laughs> I need to <coughs> get rid of these... Uh... Okay, so I'm carrying a glowing... <coughs> Glowing gem. Gem, not gym. Can't carry a gym in us. Oh, of course, probably could fit a gym in his pockets. Anyways, uh, let me pause the video because I need to get some water. <coughs> okay. Wow. Sorry about that. Didn't want to have to sit here hiccuping the entire time. Alright, so what we got now in the beginning of this game is we're stuck inside of a garbage freighter. That's unacceptable because what can we do in a garbage freighter? I mean, you know, by the, by the way, there's a TIE fighter there and an Acme rocket. Yes, many illusions. We are in a Space Quest game anyways. Um, so what we've got to do is figure out how do we get out of here? Well, I know how to get out of here. So, this game is actually quite longer than the other ones. That's another thing about this. Because it's just SCI, they're able to make this a, quite a longer game. Um, and Come on. Can you do this? I love this. Wait, wait, look at him. Look at him. Look at that pose, Roger. Look at that. Yeah. I love that pose. That's, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Give us some moxie. Yeah, Roger's got some moxie. Yeah, he don't have moxie for long. Now he's freaking out. Why? Because of that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to save the game. And yes, I'm going to shred him up just for you. Shredder. There he goes. Oh. Not a pretty sight. Oh, shredded like an I, um, Iran-Contra document. Oh gosh, that's an awful joke, especially for me. I can't even read that. Wow. <sighs> you are less than choice cut, Wilco. Wow. That was wow. Wow. I don't remember that. Okay, well, we're going to restore. Let's see. Get up. Jump. There we go. Climb up. Come on, Roger, you can do it. Come on. Come on, you're stronger than that. Awesome. All right. And so what we've got to do is we have to figure out how to fly out of here. Obviously, we can't take our ship that we just used to come here. No, that's not going to work because it's dead. When I say dead, I mean there's no way to repair it. So we need to use another ship that's on here. Of course there's going to be another ship because it picked up our ship, so why wouldn't it pick up another ship? So exploring around here and there, you would find one. And since I know where it is, and I know what to do, I'm going to, I have to be careful here. Let's see, get in machine. That thing has shot me before. So I'm always kind of like nervous of when I'm here because sometimes it doesn't. Flopping into the seat, you grasp the forward backward control of the grabber. You know, I never know what it's going to do. It's just... It's just... Very manic. Let's pick up pace. Let's go, let's go. We don't have much time left. We'll go. Dun, dun. I think it sounds off, because I was coughing. Nothing really pleasant, just some static. Alright, so you notice that in the first screen what we saw, um, press the button. Let's see if I can get it on my first try. Oh my gosh, I might, I might, I might. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we need. It took me so long to figure this out. The claw senses contact with the warp motivator grasps it firmly, and begins to ascent back to the grabber. That is what we needed the entire time, yes. Um, when I first played this game way, way long ago, that, it, it, was, it was different because it looked so much like 
part of the scenery, and I couldn't imagine. Uh, but we are out of time, so I'm going to stop the video here so it's not over time. It doesn't kill me uh, when I'm uploading it. All right, so I'll see you later. Bye.